Ivory Warrior Ring. I wonder if that's going to be used. Whoa! I also, yeah, my rings. Uh, protection Blades and uh, Third Dragon, I think. But let's look at what Ivory Warrior is and where it is. First, of course, Ivory Warrior. Attacks greatly reduce enemy stamina. I don't think enemy stamina ever really came into play in PvE, so whatever. I'm gonna use that. That's probably PvP item, mostly. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it staggers enemies more. Maybe, yeah. I. But the only, like, there is only one enemy in this DLC which doesn't get staggered when I need him to. And it's the guy with a lot of crystals on his back. Well, that was dumb. Should have drank. Fuck off already. Yeah, they are real skeletons. Nope, I, I will not let you surround me, you motherfuckers. I am kind of afraid at the moment because it would be really stupid to die here after killing that fucker. <clears throat> I never really had a lot of trouble with the wheel skeletons like in Dark Souls 1 at all. But this situation, they, 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 these guys are a bit more agile. Also I'm a bit more scared at the moment so whatever. Phew, okay. Smooth and silky stone, this is unaccessible to me. Maybe it's where the demon was resting before I came in, I don't know. Okay, another dead end, la la la. Mm -hmm. A lot of people died in here for some reason. Maybe there's going to be a rolling stone! No? They probably just tried to escape from the rats, spiky rats. By the way, what would stop me if I wanted to escape? Probably nothing besides the rats would stop me if I wanted to escape the covetous demon like this, like, right? There wasn't a yeah, problem or anything. Yeah, you probably do that, yeah. Oh, well. He did have that ring that I'm never gonna use, so that was totally worth it. Okay, outside and... Uh, door. Gee, I wonder what door this might be. Uh, actually, I'm not sure it's that door. It's Looks that like door. Alright, that's nice. Means that I don't really have to ever... Well, I don't know why what I was starting to say there, actually. Because I, uh, my thought was that I can actually just uh, feather up instead of running through the place. But why is the door relevant to that? I don't know. I just... that guy is glowing. Oh, it's the golems. Yeah. The bullshit ton of golems and one of the rats with the leg animation, goddammit, my crossbow. Um, hem, hem, hem. I really should at some point clear out my bullshit and put some stuff in the item box because this sometimes looking through my inventory to find stuff is kind of annoying. Why is only one of them glowing? Because only one of them is active. Oh, they are. Oh, <laughs> wow, yeah, that looks like Sonic the freaking hedgehog there. So. Do they get active when they, like, just get close, or do they need souls and then they get. Wa yeah, wake up and start they attacking? They get activated if dead enemies' souls, like, fly into them. Okay, so I'm going to need to get keep my distance for a bit. If I want to not have them all active at once. Um, so can the souls from one enemy fly into multiple golems? No, I think it's just one soul for one guy. I think I have enough enemies here. Like the golem is probably gonna drop souls as well. So three enemies seems like it's going to be enough to be able to activate all of them. Because I mean, I don't want to have them be left unactivatable just in case. I want to kill all of them, that was a miss. The sensitivity here is way too high. So I'm going to kill this hedgehog there. By there I mean here. Hopefully the souls are not going to reach the others. 
Oh shit, the, the other one is coming. Oh well, that plan is bust. Good job. Okay, I don't know how much reach it has, but what the? Not enough. No, I meant uh, like the souls. Are they what? Yeah, if you want to activate the golem, you should probably move closer than that. Hmm, didn't even seem flying to me. I was wondering if I could stand like make the golem stay in between me no, and the guy. No, it's just I think it's just the range thing. If enemy is close enough, his soul goes to the golem. Just okay, then I guess I'll have to chain the golems when I kill them. Well, yeah, the animation loads in this game are something else, and by this game I mean this area. Hmm. I also recall you saying that these golems are going to kick my ass. Well, I... they are not super tough, but certainly they are like tougher than like regular enemies. I am for some reason expecting some of their stuff to be unblockable maybe because I recall the giants before the big giant enemy ah fucking I, I really do start rolling ah oh, it doesn't do that much damage actually uh, the, the giants in that one cave which I still haven't even killed uh, those had uh, their clubs were completely unfucking blockable Okay, that, that was fortunate. Fucking piece of shit! Aim where I am looking on. That was a lucky roll there. I didn't even notice what was lucky about it, but I'll trust you at the moment. Okay, I think I will kill this one in the safety here, because there's that rat also there bothering me, but... After that I will kill the rat in the proximity of one of them, that was too early, and I'll try to chain the, the other one when I kill him so that the last one gets awakened. I could... what? Oh, cool, I guess. Um, I haven't left any messages ever since like the original Let's Play, so that's really strange. Well, probably some... Uh you player found like something <laughs> like don't give up skeleton or some stupid shit like this i don't remember if i left the don't give up the skeleton message like eh don't well, give up skeleton well you probably wrote something like of that kind somewhere like thrust butthole or something <laughs> actually isn't there a way to see all my messages i think you can use your like that thing orange soapstone and it I think you don't a... have an orange soap still. Wait, I don't? But how did I ri write anything if I don't have uh, it? There is like a message option in the menu. Oh, yeah, oh, you mean that way, yes, okay, I forgot. Request 3. That's probably, no? What? Oh, no, it's what I read. Oh, okay, read history, I guess then. There is written history right, right, right beneath it. Okay, th these are... Huh. I... I'll just skip... what? I have no idea what this was about. Have uh, you any clue? Pro probably, probably you wrote that in front of the door, which gets crushed by the ogre. Um... I Remember don't Remember in the Aldia's Keep, there's like two doors, yeah. uh, consequently get oh, like fucking, crushed yeah, by ogres. Backstabbing, for some reason I was reading it as backstabbing. But this, the <laughs> this I remember. I still like this message. Because I remember it was in in front of a giant lava pool, where like all over, everywhere. So it's what, like, the, there is humor in that message. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's cool that they are staying so long. I don't really, I didn't expect them to like stay forever. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised as well. Mr. Stitch. Let's go. 
while the animations start getting chumpy like way close to the camera. Okay, and now I have to kill this guy. Fuck, there's another. Well, that's nice. I guess I don't have to chain anyone. Unless that red guy comes up to me first. This cave looks unnatural. Okay, yeah, I will have to chain probably because I don't really want to deal with this guy. So follow me, please, if you will. Come up here. I'm, I don't know why you are bothering with killing Which, all of these guys. I, I don't think they actually drop anything useful. I don't know, uh, but there's... you want to, like, farm them forever. No, I don't, but there's items in here and I don't feel safe collecting these items when the guys are alive also. How the hell did the second one come to life? Uh, what? I think that guy was, like, alive from the very beginning. Um, maybe I just didn't see it because he was on top there and facing some other direction or some shit, but I think that guy was also not alive. I think the alive guy was in front of the tower there, like, in the bridge thing part. Okay, you know what? I think you might be right. Because, like... This can get dangerous if there's both of them at once. I think I will try to just... Oh, I did grab this, what? So wait a second, is there any anything in here left for me? There's this, I guess. There's lockstone, very useful to me, I have like 29 of them. And an elevator. Hmm. I am going to just gamble and say that there is nothing under this elevator because I am tired of checking that. Let's see, anywhere new or anywhere I've been before? This looks familiar. Oh, no, we're not familiar. I mean, it's the other side of that gap Okay, the turn bridge. back, turn back, and turn back. Why? Oh, it's not, it's not this. I remember, I kind of remember there was some other way to go, but okay. Okay, are they? Yes, they are. Just make sure you don't cross the bridge before you like look around really carefully here because I, I kind of remember there's been like some other way or something. Hmm. You'd think that ice dudes would be getting more damage from firebombs. Well, whatever. Firebombs are that weak at this point in the Just game. Just use your magic crossbow. Nah, that would be... Well, I mean, I'm still wasting shit, but this is... This hits all of them sometimes. Also, I haven't thrown firebombs in quite a while, so I'm having fun. Oh, that was... Ah, uh, no. Well, okay, whatever. Yeah, throw Westus flasks at <laughs> those guys. Well, I mean... You would still hate getting hit by a bottle. I guess, maybe. But damn. Am I a master or am I a master? Okay, no way here. I g oh, oh, oh! Actually, it was kind of obvious because of all the freaking blood stay. What the? F I can backstab these guys? Uh, you can actually backstab some enemies you wouldn't think you would be able to. Yeah, because I was completely failing backstabbing these guys like all the time before I came to the conclusion that the, maybe the spikes on their backs are an indication that you can't really backstab all these textures. But I guess I was wrong. So I am expecting... I am expecting maybe since this doesn't look like there is much left here, there's probably going to be a chair here and items there, so... This is going to finish this path. I'm... What the... I'm suspecting here. Let's see if I can name high enough. Okay, look to the that side. Yeah, there. There's something very interesting on in that direction, guy. Okay, you know what? Whoa. Okay, yeah, there is indication that they saw me. 
Come on. I could have hit him. Never mind. Also, is there... I, I'm expecting that there is uh, one of the traders sells like life gems, maybe infinite life gems as well. Uh, but uh, like maybe just... Melantia sells infinite life gems, but I'm I don't not know who sure that is. That. Who is that? Uh, the old woman from the forest. Oh, okay. Because I find life gems are useful when you don't want to waste Estesis, but still want to heal some minor damage. So, I uh, might buy a couple. Sometime off camera, maybe. You are arrested for breaking the laws of mass conservation. There. Yeah, that dude has totally a pose that shouldn't be. Like, how did he get frozen in that position? Ever, I'm not dealing with any of you anymore. Can go away, blood stain. I'm guessing someone probably just fell down here like an idiot. Okay, the bigger guys. If I remember correctly, these guys get killed by three power attacks and get stuck by the second one. So, okay, that, <laughs> that, that works as fun. well. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> okay, do you want me to... Yeah, you probably can figure it out yourself. I just don't want to fall down. I'm not sure what this would accomplish though. Maybe create a, like a shortcut that I could cross the... Well, that is really stupid. That is extremely stupid. That would not get that large. That fast. This is the like the cartooniest thing that ever happened in Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, Holy maybe. shit! Wow, and they didn't even remove like the snow from the bridge. There wasn't any enough snow on the bridge in the first place to form that giant snowball. Wow, that was really dumb. Like the extreme dumbest thing. And uh, guess what? If you try to cross the bridge before doing that, it just uh, falls on your head and you die. Wait, so it fa falls like by itself? Uh, I think f so. Maybe it doesn't fall if you kill all the enemies, but it, it, it sure can happen. <laughs> well, good thing you told me to go here. Well, not exactly go here, but look around, because yeah, I would have been pissed! Oh yes, I don't have to interact. And you just have to find one more guy. Knight of blah blah blah, six blah blah blah, let's... Ah, oh, so you're not gonna... Well, the, the bridge oh, is crossable oh. now, so you can come back anytime. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I completely forgot, but um, mm, uh, mm, I'm trying to remember from which bonfire that is quickest. Uh, the first? I'm kind of sick and tired of the first bonfire, though, but sure. Well, maybe there is a shorter way, I don't know, I just cannot really remember where those elevators are that, like, take you somewhere else completely. Yeah, I can't really blame you for not remembering. Wow, that is all the way there. I think it might be even the third bonfire. Yeah, you can probably, Quicker. like, ride an elevator from the third bonfire or something. And uh, uh, Whenever I was playing, I just... Uh, stopped trying to remember where shit is and just walked everywhere from the first bonfire. Well, that would get tedious as hell. Uh, <laughs> it did, yeah. Okay, I was worried there was some sort of mouse cursor bug there for a second, but... Okay, I remember this because I like had one attempt to... Uh, I thought maybe I could reach the, the place with the Zelda puzzle in a less annoying way from this direction for some reason, but... Didn't turn out to be so, but I remember seeing that uncrossable bridge somewhere really close to me. So I'm suspecting it might be... If only I remember where I went, it's there. No, it's not that close to this bonfire, maybe it's close to the second one actually. 
I think I wrote this down, but I don't remember what it went. I think it went to like the dogs and shit. Right? Does it go to the dogs I and shit? I have no idea. Probably it uh, just goes somewhere to that place, you know, where you walked inside the walls. Ah, yeah, yeah, dogs, yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. So let's try the second bonfire then. I don't think you can get anywhere from the second bonfire. Well, I progressed from it somewhere first time, so I should be able uh, to get I mean, anywhere. it's like only way forward from, from the second bonfire. You cannot, like, go back to the first one from here. Well, I mean, it's probably not on the way to the first one. Uh, I, I think had... the bridge is, like, now behind you, and you cannot really, like, get to it from here. Ah! Why did I freaking... Well, yeah, I am forgetful, so that explains it. Okay, you know what? First thing. Uh, where is that? You said it was past the, from the third one, like the new unfrozen passageway. Yes. Okay, let's do that first. Maybe on the way I'll find something better. Or just, I don't know, get a feel about the... <sighs> okay, and uh, you were talking about something in some place where the dude's sitting in a circle near the stuff, and what was that all about? Uh, yeah, that that's the way to the co-op area, and uh -huh. you can get there from the second bonfire pretty quickly. I think. I may be mistaken. Alright, there's this. And uh, are the golems as meaningless as in the other place? What? Yeah, I mean, I do I have to kill the golems in here for any reason, or are they just... A obstacle in my way. Uh, I, I don't think you have. They are like guarding some chests, but probably chests are accessible just like that. Maybe you have even opened them, I don't know. I kinda wish she would come closer. No, I didn't open the chests, but I don't really want to awaken the golems here because they are kinda tedious. Well, it's it's gonna be difficult to not awaken them. But what if I ran across and got hit? That was a good plan. A really good plan. I don't even know what's back here. Oh, he's still not dead. Marvelous. Yeah, those are gonna shoot. There's probably an enemy up here as well. Okay. I didn't expect to survive that, actually. When I said that it was a really good plan, I was being sarcastic, but... Let's see if I can just call the girls back. Oh, I killed one of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> it probably, like, went through through floor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's kind of funny how it was pushing her, but... I don't think maybe he can... Oh, he can. Hmm. You know, it's kind of weird. You remember, like, those golems from before were glowing blue when they got activated, but this, yeah. this one isn't for some reason. Oversight. Come on, man. I didn't take you for someone who would give up like that. Come on. His feet are probably too big to just walk on the stairs. Okay, guess not. Well, that was a good idea, which didn't work. God damn it. I was expecting him to be too dumb to haul me all the way back up. Actually, he might still be. Uh huh. Whoa! There's a lot of damage, actually, and I love it. Whatever. Cool! I am finding all ways to cheese this bullshit here. Okay. Well, you kind of deserve this after <laughs> surviving that fight. Yeah. 
Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, save. Ha, huh, this one is Fulbright and has locks, I wonder. I think the full brightness is a better tell than the freaking look. Uh, yeah, but I don't think they're supposed to be full bright. It's just something with your video card again. My video card is perfect. Don't you dare diss my video card. Well, I remember you having some weird graphical glitches before that I didn't have. Fucking yeah! <laughs> yeah, Mimics have souls too. <laughs> I guess they are better than gingers. Oh well. Um, well, at least gingers don't bite you when you open them. Yeah, when you open them it's a bit too late for them to bite. But they bite you before you open them, so there's that. Um, what was I trying to say? Ah, yes, I remember some graphical bugs, like there was some sort of thing with a fog in the Rangling Castle, which might not have been a bug, where the, like, the mountains and the distance were completely different color from the sky. And it looked really ugly, and I, I think I remember someone saying that they didn't notice it or something, maybe it was you, maybe it was something else, I don't know. And I remember in the Lost Bastille once, there's like a skybox in there obviously, but I think I remember once being there and inside the skybox there was just a solid color, blue, which looked really ugly, and I didn't remember whether there actually was a skybox, so I was really like disappointed in this game, but then I saw a proper skybox. And I say just ignore this guy. Nah. I enjoy my two-handed club too much to ignore people. Alright, uh, were there any more frozen people around here? Because I remember this now, but I don't remember anything around it. Up there was that NPC invader, and uh, am I going forward actually? I, I think I am going forward. Yeah, that's the way. And I didn't remember that, I just took a direction on, at random and it turned out to be forward. Uh, yeah. Those those three golems up there are like standing around the chest, and if you want the chest, you will have to kill at least some of them. Okay, nice to know. Ah, I don't like these guys at all, because <sighs> they don't get staggered by my first. Well, unless I do this, but then that attack and it like they are still lying down, so that that is worthless. But wow, that didn't even. Okay. Oh, I was... Ha. Huh, strange. I am not... I have no idea what's going on anymore, but sure. Okay, I think I will wake up... I don't remember... Wow, my, my memory is just not what it used to be. Uh, I don't remember if you answered about uh, souls from one enemy being able to wake up multiple golems, but we'll find out at the moment. Like, uh, no, it's just one, one soul per one golem. Okay, so... I'm guessing there's actually a preferred one. I think the front of the chest is this. I think that's actually the back, but, but I, I can't really tell. Well, if that's the back, then I guess maybe it doesn't make... Unless I have to kill both of them for this. Anyway, let's, let's hope that... Man, it's going to be annoying if she doesn't... isn't, like, close enough here. This is the way that was frozen. Oh, so in here there is progress. I see. Okay, wizard lady, let's let's just kill you, whatever. Maybe if I run here, you will pay attention to me. Oh, I woke up some of them. Ha! <laughs> no, still want to pay attention? Then you die. Wow, yeah, that is menacing, very menacing. I'm shaking in my drying lake boots. No? Okay. Well, are if you got the souls for, for an enemy, that means they are not gonna activate shit. Well, I didn't really notice whether I got souls. Okay. Well, you could hear the <laughs> sound. All right. I'm, well, I mean, I'm not paying attention to what you expect of me. Uh, haha. -ha. If only there was a wish to, like, give some of my souls to the golem. Because I, I have a feeling that none of... Well, maybe the spear guy will follow me eventually. 